All right. Hi, everyone. This is Quentin from Bastard KB. I have here a 3D case made by Mabroom on Discord. It is made to accommodate the Dilemma keyboard that is an upcoming 3x5 plus 2 keyboard with a trackpad. And because it's made to be traveled with, we thought it would be interesting to add a case to it. And there's a bunch of features that I wanted, like a hole for the tenting puck and some anti-slip pads, a system so that the PCB is tight inside. And yeah, it's re it is. Yeah, it's recording. And Mabroom has done an excellent job at this case. Now. I'm printing it, I, I printed a few prototypes and I'm pretty happy with it. There is a bunch of things I want to change on it and I also want to go through the timeline and the different sketches and make sure that everything is well made and in a way that if later we want to modify it then it's easy to do. So I have my own version here which I've slightly modified and so I'm just going to go through this case, the original case and I'm going to go through the changes I want to do and the fix-ups and that way you guys can also have some insight into how I work. So for starters I'm just gonna go back all the way to the beginning of the timeline and take a look. So here we have the PCB and directly what I see is he has two different bodies, the base and the wall, so that's really nice. Let's see, the walls are 8.15 and the, P, the plate thickness is 2 millimeters. So, what I like to do from the beginning is to have some stuff that is parametric. So, I don't want to make everything parametric, but I do know that later down the line, there will be some extrudes like this one here and this one here that are going to be a certain height. So for example, the this tab here needs to be 1.2 millimeters because that's the thickness of the PCB. So I want to make sure that it's easy to modify later down the line and that most importantly, I don't need to think about it if I modify it. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add some parameters. I'm going to start with PCB thickness and that's going to be 1.2 millimeters. Then I'm going to add plate thickness and that's going to be 2 millimeters. Right, that should be enough for the beginning. Right. Alright, now we have our Voronoi plate and let's see what he did here is he extruded everything and also the outside. All right, that's nice. Then we have this, which is the, ca the case walls. So let me think for a minute. I think I also want a parameter here. And so the way, the way this works is the tenting puck is gonna be all the way at the bottom. And then on top we're going to have the PCB. So the plate, the, the height of the walls is actually the height of the PCB plus the height of the tenting puck. And I'm going to check real quick with the printed model I have here. Yeah, that's the case. So we have the tenting puck plus the PCB is 8.15. So I'm going to add a parameter which is tenting puck. And that's, let me calculate the height of the tenting puck. So, because I do have one on, on my desk, but then I have to get out the ruler and everything. And so that will be around seven millimeters. All right. And then, so this will be tenting puck plus PCB thickness. All right. All right, it's, it's slightly higher, so that might be because the tensing puck, or like it's not exactly precise, but I can I can print it later down the line. All right, 
So what what it, what does this do? Uh oh. All right, let, let's wait a minute till fusion gets back up. All right, it seems that fusion has died already. That is great news. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Sorry about this, guys. Let me save it real quick. And, oh, that's moving the PCB. All right. So that that's, I don't know what this does. Let's see. All right, that's just moving the PCB. So... I don't really need this as I'm I am going to use the PCB but I'm going to use mostly the screws here so I don't really need it to be shifted vertically so I'm going to keep it here because otherwise I'm going to have fusion keep hanging on every time I go through the timeline so all right new sketch oh there's a lot of sketches here let's go through the sketch sketches real quick I'm going to hide the PCB and I'm going to look at KiCad okay base Oh, so the base is not editable. Okay, that's not great. Wall either, and Voronoi either. So, I don't know why those sketches are not editable. And what's his name? Ma Mabroom also told me that he had issues with this. So, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to create a sketch here. And I'm going to project this we are also missing this and then I'm gonna create a parameter which is wall thickness and I'm gonna make that two millimeters and then I'm going to unlink those up uh, Did this work? No, it, di it didn't work at all. Um, something is not connected here. Let me... Let me instead... Project... Yeah, there we go. That's what I want projected. Then I'm also going to project this. I'm a bit annoyed because I cannot do an offset to this. Maybe if I break the link. No, it's the same. Okay, something is wrong with this outline. And at the moment, I'm not going to worry too much about it i'm gonna keep it and then later down the line i can fix it more properly but the point being that i'm gonna get rid of those two and i'm gonna unlink those And that will do the trick. All right, there we go. All right, now we have our two bodies. We the sketches are clean and editable this one the base sketch needs to be needs a little bit of work on but i can we can always do this later so i'm going to save this all right then a uh, new sketch which is called support and that is for those all right so there's a few things i don't like here which is when i was installing the pcb you have to press on specific points which is one two three four those five points so it's not super convenient and also, it means there's only so many supports. And when you type, there's a possibility that the PCB will sync. Uh, mostly here, this top left corner, this top right corner, 
and bottom right corner here. So I'm not super happy with this and also not super happy with the uh, shapes of the supports and also after inserting and removing the PCB three or four times, those were already loose. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to screw inserts. Also there's a lot of bodies going on here and I don't like it. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to rename it screw inserts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those and this as well. And this, and this, and this. So, I don't really need the offset here anymore. So I'm going to delete those. Alright, that's looking good. Delete this all right let's check i do want one two three four i don't want this to be screwed in i only want those three top left and those two all right so that's the screws i want and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a parameter which is m3 screw insert I'm going to make this 4.6 because I found out that this works well for my M3 screw inserts. All right. Then I'm going to do the same here and same here. And then around the screw inserts, I'm going to have it add a two millimeter offset so that there's enough plastic around it to hold it. And then same here and same here. Then I'm going to add some equal constraints and that's something that was missing. I really like using equal constraints because it keeps my sketches clean. And then our, I have only one measure, two measures here and then the rest just updates automatically. So. Those inserts, I want to have them go in from the plate, and I want to, I want them to go all the way to the PCB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude those, and this one join it to the plate, and those will go all the way till the edge, till the bottom of the PCB. So that looks correct. What I, what I would like doing is, you, you, you know what, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna move the PCB back up and just to make sure that everything fits. So I'm gonna move it up and I'm going to move it like this. Uh, yeah. Let's check that everything fits. Uh, I can already see that something is not going to fit. What is the PCB thickness here? Okay, that's 1.6. So it's normal that a little bit is protruding here. That's fine. And uh, let me check that the screw holders are fine. Yeah. Okay, the screw holders go all the way to the top. So that's nice. Let's remove the analysis. Let's remove the PCB. This is 4.6. Okay. There is something I see here, which is... Um, okay, real, real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some colors because I'm getting, I want to make sure that there. From the top, I can see there's holes missing here. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna make sure I can insert the screw inserts. So I'm gonna have like this, symmetric to be sure, and cut. All right. Then one thing I like doing is because the screw inserts are gonna be inserted from the top, I like to make sure that the screw inserts cannot be inserted from the bottom, and that's a mistake that's easily made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of an extrude from the bottom, and that way the screw inserts can only be inserted from the top. All right, that's looking pretty good already. I'm, I already know that there's some filleting I wanna do, let's say, for example, around here and here. And that's gonna help with the strength of the print. However, I'm gonna do this all the way at the end. I like doing my fillet at the end. So that, that's looking pretty nice already. Let's, uh, what does the rest do? All right. There is the, the tenting hole puck in the middle that's missing. But what I want to add is those here to support the PCB better. So I'm going to do that right now. And to do that, I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to create it here. And I'm going to project Oh, this, yeah, this is messed up. I'm going to project the walls. And then I'm gonna be very lazy and just add those supports wherever I want, which I think the angles are nice. Probably here, probably here is also nice, and here a little bit. All right. Then I'm gonna, the supports are gonna be here, and here, and here. All right. Oh, this one, this one is not connected. So let me just make that a little bit bigger so it connects. Yeah, there we go. And rename the sketch PCB supports. All right. Let's check up with the PCB and add our analysis. Move this. A little bit like this. Mm, what do I want to see? I want to see here. Okay, and our PCB is indeed supported. So putting this in green was a bad idea because it's the same color as the PCB. So I'm gonna just change the color. Do this. All right, I can see the PCB supported, so that's that's good. Right, that's starting to look quite okay. So one thing that that I see is missing. Okay, this we don't need anymore. What is this? This is a tenting pack. Okay, I'm real quick. I'm gonna go again to the timeline, and I'm gonna make groups. So this is gonna be a group. This is also going to be a group. This is for the screw inserts. Fusion is hanging on again. Yeah, I'm working on my laptop in the atelier, so and I'm recording at the same time, so Fusion 
tends to act up a little bit. Normally it's better than this, but my guess is because I'm recording, Fusion is getting a bit annoyed at me. Yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Create a group. I'm gonna switch this back to 100% opacity. Then this is the PCB support. And this is the tensing pack. Mm. Oh yeah, this is this is important. This is the bottom pads. And I see there's again a lot of bodies here. So I'm gonna take a look at the bumpons and add a parameter. Bump on diameter. And I use ten I use 10 millimeter bump ons and I found that 10.5 adds enough tolerance that they can be inserted easily. So that's a lot of them and it's a lot of unique values. So I'm gonna get rid of them real quick, sorry. And then I'm gonna add an offset of two millimeters. And I think I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, six probably. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And same thing I did previously. I'm going to go through them and add equal constraints. All right, now I'm going to place them. So one here, one here, one here, one here. And here, all right, that's looking pretty good. What is this sketch? Oh yeah, that's the very important to keep the sketch's name clean. All right, and now we start by extruding what is going to be holding the bump ons. And I want to join and then Then I want to make the actual holes for the bump ons, which are going to be something like one millimeter. Yeah, and there we go. Then the only things I'm going to delete those. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to, I think now is a good time to connect the base, the plate and the wall. So I'm gonna do that. L let's take a look at the PCB, looking very sharp. So I'm pretty, at this point I'm pretty happy with those. I do think that it could use a connector, like a, a better connection for the screw inserts. But I can do this later. I can, like this is something I can already print and test. So, oh yeah, one thing I did want to do is add some filet. So I'm gonna filet the screw inserts. Let's add a millimeter, that's more than enough. And I'm also, I'm, go, uh, I'm gonna be lazy, I'm not gonna fillet those. And create a group. And finally,
I'm going to add a version number. So that's going to be v3, 6. And I want the text to be, let's say, 3 millimeter high. And now we just need a spot for it. Perfect. Let's extrude it. Come on. Okay, I want it to start on top. And I want it to be one millimeter deep. Oh, it's actually it actually <laughs> goes through the bump on. Um, that is not good. So I need to find another spot for it. Let's see, where can I put it? I'm not super happy with this placement, but at the moment it'll be fine. I am going to make it slightly smaller and hope that it that it still displays correctly. Yeah, nice and cozy. All right, that's I think that's a pretty good start. I'm going to print it and see what happens and probably later down the line I want to work a little bit more on those screw inserts because now they're kind of sticking out and I would like to connect them to the wall better but let me check I did have a checklist of things I wanted to go through yeah I think that's pretty much it well thanks for following thanks again Mabroom I believe <laughs> for making this case I do think it looks really good and I'm also already thinking of maybe making the screw inserts a bit thinner and having an option to make the whole bottom of the pl to, to print just as the walls and then to make the whole bottom of the plate from something like metal or copper i think it'll look amazing heavy but amazing oh yeah that's something i wanted to do i want to add some filet not not here here just just for the looks Let's take a look at what it looks like when we have both of them. Looks really good. Yeah, let's let's print that. Thanks for following.